Hi, I'm Pam Andrews, The Scholarship Shark, and in this episode of our podcast, I am continuing the series uh, for new students entering college, getting not only the perspective of faculty and staff, but this episode it has come from the perspective of students. So they're going to talk about what college life is like um, and student life and clubs activities, how to get involved, how to maintain a balance. I like to call student life the fun department. So they're going to share all of that. These three are highly involved on campus and that's why I've asked them to share their knowledge and their expertise. Um, they're all students here at Ringling College of Art and Design in Sarasota, Florida with different majors. So we have Ariana, we have Tamara, and we have Jacob. So tell me a little bit about yourselves. We'll start with Ariana. Hello, my name is Ariana. Um, I am in motion design, I'm a second year student, and uh, I hope to create animations and uh, create artwork that serves God. Nice. And Tamara? Hi, I'm Tamara. I'm a second year motion design student, and I'm from Columbus, Ohio, and I would like to be a freelance motion designer who works on uh, hand-drawn animations that really connect people's souls. Nice. Mm -hmm. And Jacob? Hi, my name is Jacob. I'm a second year film student, and I'm from Chicago. The Windy City. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I see myself after uh, college working at Marvel Studios. That's my favorite. Awesome. Awesome. Very focused. So, um, you. this is everyone's second year. What was the first year like at school? Different. It was. Was it what you expected? Was it very different? No, it was a lot different than what I pictured college to be. In what um, ways? Well, when I pictured college, I always imagined a state school, you know, with those big buildings, the nice green grass in the center of campus, and everyone's sort of like in their own, like, bubble, just focusing on what they do. But here, it's totally different. Like, the campus is much more smaller, and everyone's so, like, supportive and connected with each other. I love the environment here. It's very creative. Um, you learn so much from your peers and your friends. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, you learn so much from uh, your friends and uh, fellow students in class. I would say you learn just as much from them as you do from the professors as you endeavor in um, just creating artwork. And uh, yeah. And what about you, Tamara? <laughs> to be honest, I had no expectations. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect because I didn't expect that I'd be able to get into college. Uh -huh. But. I did, and I was here, I am here, and so it's like, I don't know, charting the unknown kind of was freshman year, but I think it was really good, and I learned a lot, um, especially about time management and about myself and like what I enjoy and how I work best and what environments I work in um, and what really drives me to do work, so yeah. So a process of self-discovery yeah. that you did not have in high school, very different. Now, did the three of you know each other prior to coming here? No, because you're very close on campus. Yeah. yeah. So you connected on campus and got involved in student life. How did you guys meet or how did you really form a strong bond And last year? Can you think back that far? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know you guys met a long time before I met you guys. We, the first time we well, met you were roommates. Well, I remember when I met In orientation. Yeah. During orientation. Okay. It was like all these games out in the blue room and we were all just sitting on the floor playing a card game. It was like we're all in a circle and it finally came down to just Jacob and I. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't remember who won. I think, I think I won. Um, but that's how we met, but we didn't really get a chance to know each other until second semester when he became friends with Ariana. Yeah. And so that's how I met Jacob really, like got to know him was through Ariana. And you two were roommates. Yes, last roommates. Year. we met on the Facebook roommate group. Mm -hmm. um, she made a post on Facebook, and I saw it, and I was like, "I, I need you." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's That's great to connect and to really have a bestie right away because you have someone to really experience campus life with, and just to be there as a strong support. And then yeah. that whole roommate aspect was is critical because it's yeah. different. I mean, it's you're, you're yeah. meeting siblings and family and everything that's familiar and now you're living with strangers. Yeah. You know, are they yeah. night people, day people, really loud important. music, soft, I mean, yeah, yeah, right. It's really important to um, make sure that you, the person you're living with shares the same values as you mm -hmm. because if they don't, then there's going to be conflict. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Any tips for finding roommates? What's a, a good tip for finding a roommate? I mean, I, to you be honest, used, uh -huh. to list out like every single like things about yourself. Like if you, um, for me, I sleep in and I sleep past my alarm, and so that <laughs> might be important to someone else who's a morning person. And if the alarm bothers them, or like room temperature, something small like that can mm -hmm. impact whether someone lives with another. Person. That's a good tip. Be honest yeah. about who you yeah. are. And, yeah. yeah. I don't know like what quirks that you have, like. Okay, I do this thing. It's not the greatest thing, but I do it. I snore. Or, or I sleepwalk. I, I sleep talk. Fun, fun fact, I did not know I slept talk. Oh. And then Tamara, she I found, found out, out a year later. And she thought I knew, and so, yeah. Oh, you said something the other night. I'll have to tell you later. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. That's funny. So, now you all are very involved on campus. Mm. Um, what are some of the activities that you're involved in? And this time we'll start with Jacob and we'll go the other way. Um, well, I am the president of the club KGO, which Ariana started last year. And KGO stands for? Oh, KGO stands for Kids Games Only. Okay. So that's a club where it's open to anyone. Students can come and we'll play a bunch of fun games like Capture the Flag or Kick the Can or Zombie Tag. <laughs> The list goes on, and it's really fun to just be there for students who want to come and yeah. de-stress yeah. in classes. Nice. So you're president of KGO. Yes. Nice. What about you, Tamara? Um, there's a lot going on. Uh, I'm gonna just real quick. <laughs> this guy is now a student ambassador. Oh, okay. And, well, you didn't share that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I didn't know how much to oh, share. Oh, share it all. Yeah. Oh, Our okay. listeners want to know all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I, I am as well, I'm a student ambassador, and um, also I am involved in the Improv Club. Oh, nice. Okay. Is, um, and also Ringling Royals. Okay. Which is where uh, a group of students dress up as Disney characters oh, and nice. go to hospitals. Oh, my word, I love that. <laughs> you play. Oh, wow. <laughs> and my character is Peter Pan. Nice. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so I am the president of FOCUS, which is Fellowship of Christian Art Students. Mm -hmm. It's the Bible study on campus. Um, and let's see, I'm also a student ambassador, um, and I'm an RA, and oh, there was something else. I done forgot it. I know you do the notes thing. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's something I'm forgetting. Um, <laughs> I also take notes for people on campus, like if there's somebody who's like, uh, has Asperger's or autistic, which is like can't focus quite mm -hmm. the right way like in class, then I will take notes and sometimes it's specific on how I take notes so in a way that they can understand it. Um, and then I'll send it to the ARC, the Academic Resource Center, and they'll give it to the student and walk them through it. Um, so I do that for a lot of classes. And I think that's everything, but I'm not entirely <laughs> sure. <laughs> and what about you, Ariana? Um, so last year, um, I was an a, a, okay. You're, she was also she's also a senator from Ocean Design. Oh, I forgot about that. That's yeah. huge. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, and I'm in Ringling Royals. Yeah, I forgot. I'm is. also a, I'm a Disney princess. I'm Anna. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm sorry. I think no, that's okay. it. Continue. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I was the SGA senator for illustration, the illustration department. Um, I was the RSA representative, and I'd go to SGA meetings. Um, and SJ stands for SJ Student Government Association, and then RSA is Resident Association. Resident Student, Student Association. Association. Those are two different groups that meet once a week, and RSA focuses on um, needs that, uh, or just um, doing fun activities and events for students to de, de stress. And then SGA focuses on problems and different needs that are needed around campus mm -hmm. and going about fixing those things. Um, yeah, and being a student voice, uh, and yeah, so those are really great clubs. And then um, I was part of the YEA program, which was Youth Experiencing Art, and uh, that was going out to an elementary school and uh, being um, being a teacher to uh, art teacher to special needs third grade uh, kids and teaching them about the important characteristics of um, being respectful and having us. Uh, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're. It's good. Being, um, being an active learner and safety, and we did art projects surrounding that. 
and then the second semester we went and did a permanent artwork um, that stayed at the school on a planter. We got to create a mural with the kids and we got to put their handprints on it and we got to put um, different words that both come up. And then I also, I did the KGO, which Jacob's taking over mm -hmm. next this year. <laughs> and then um, I got to marry our RAs and then the ambassador, um, I got the ambassador thing. And so I'm excited for that this year to be a representative and a, face, a smiling face for England. And then this year I hope to do the scholarship club. I'll be the president of that and we'll meet once a week and um, work on scholarships and help each other find really good ones. And then, and then, um, I'm sorry, I have one more thing. I forgot it. <laughs> um, that was, yeah. Oh yeah, I want to do the memory project. That was something that happened last year and I hope to do this year. And that's where uh, we take photos of children from orphanages mm -hmm. and we uh, turn them into uh, portraits. We'll have students, art students from Ringling uh, do portraits of the kids and then we'll send the portraits off to the kids in the orphanage. Nice. So that's what we do. You guys yeah. are so busy. Yeah. So how do you balance grades and your responsibilities. I mean, you have how to do learn you to say no. Okay. And it, obviously, you say no to the right thing. <laughs> like you probably like, yeah. say yeah. Because <laughs> you're saying yes. It sounds you're saying yes, but you're saying no. So share a little bit more about yeah, that. Yeah. Um, so, like, there'd be times when like they're offering um, like friends would be like, oh yeah, let's go hang out, let's go do this, but you have to like, mm, I can't. I have work because the work is like your priority. I mean, it's great to be involved in all these student activities and be on campus and stuff, but. The, the priority here is your, your academics. You're here to learn something that you're passionate about. So it's really important to say, I only have so much time for this one thing and then I can't give it any more time. I have to focus on what I need to do. Right. Um, and it can be hard because you look out your window and there's somebody like having a great time. Like, <laughs> but real in reality, if you're, it's, you're gonna have such a more great time later when, more great time later. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, no, okay, anyway, oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it'll like be worth it later on because you'll have gotten further in your major um, and what you're doing, what you're passionate about, and it'll pay off when you're in the field and you're doing what you love. And it's like, okay, I'm glad I spent that extra time learning this thing because Schmo Joe over here doesn't know it because <laughs> he was, <laughs> he he was, was slipping down. around yeah, here. Exactly. <laughs> so it really pays off in the long, in the, in the long term process um, as well as it really develops like your drive to work, like, and stay focused. It's like, okay, you have that self-control to say no to something and be like, I can't do that right now. And can I be honest? Everybody here, at a minimum, will walk away with a degree, right. you know, which means everybody's done the required coursework. But you guys are like the icing on the cake. It's You can graduate, you can meet all the graduation requirements, all the credentials, and be active in student life and be student leaders. Not just like one thing. To, you guys had like a nice laundry list of things, which is wonderful. So that says a lot to an, a potential employer that they can handle other responsibilities because offices have office events and charity they're involved with, you know, charities and, you know, social impact projects, things like that. So they're looking for employees who are coming in with resumes and experiences that are leading. And you guys are off as second year students. I'm so impressed that you did all of that your freshman year, handling transition, living on your own, um, time management, getting organized, you know, making good grades, and then getting involved, starting new clubs, getting involved in clubs, leading clubs. I mean, that's quite impressive. So let me ask you all this. Were you involved in high school? Were you very active um, in clubs? And <laughs> <laughs> um, I really wasn't involved in that much my first two years of high school um, and I started uh, being involved in the drama department mm -hmm. at my high school uh, junior year yes junior year and I was like this is really cool and then senior year I just went there all the time I basically lived there and I realized that my passion for film is basically the same as a theater production except mm -hmm. you have the cameras on stage now. Right. Wait, was that the question? Yeah, that, that was the question. <laughs> I wasn't that involved well, until okay. my last year. That was the question. Okay. <laughs> what about either, both of you? Um, not as involved as I am in campus 
now. Like my senior year, I finally got the guts to like go out and do the play. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, I really, I did sports. So I did volleyball and I did swim team. Okay. But like as far as like clubs and stuff, no. But then my high school is very small and it didn't really have a lot of clubs. Okay. Um, yeah. And then I was active in uh, cross country, winter track, uh, spring track. I did lacrosse for a semester. And then I was in an art club. That was oh, a lot okay. of fun. But um, coming to Ringling, I love that like they have so many different avenues and places you can connect. They have many different clubs as well as uh, opportunities to volunteer. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what was the switch that went off in each of you? Like, was it just, you know, I mean, did you feel homesick and you wanted to get involved or you just kind of found your tribe and you're like, oh, this is home. I, you know, I love this campus. Like, what did it to where you just decided, I'm just going to get so involved? How did that happen? Because that doesn't happen for everyone. <laughs> so how did how did it happen for you all? Um, it just sort of happened. I realized you know being involved is really fun and it makes everything more memorable and it's like it's more special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess. Um, I am a super introvert. Um, <laughs> oh wow! I wouldn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so like. Coming into college, it was like a fresh start, and I was like, I'm going to try and change for the better. Uh, I don't want to be a super introvert. I'm still introverted, but I'm not as introverted as I was before, so I really forced myself to and put myself in social situations, which was really exhausting, but I think it's really like it was worth it. I like how you said that. I mean, it really is a fresh start. Mm -hmm. It You can totally, no one knows you here, right. so you can, you know, you can be somebody totally different you know like you said I, I like that that yeah. you kind of said okay I want to make these changes not that it's wrong either way but you said okay this is what I want to do and you just took advantage of the, the whole new environment to do it yeah. cool what about you Ariana for me it was um just one thing at a time like um oh there's YEA going on this is where you can go volunteer at an elementary school and so I was like yes I gotta do that and then um, doing like KGO, I had so many great friends, I'm like, it'd be fun to play really fun games like Manhunt and Slenderman, Slenderman. And so we went and we're, I was able to like, how can we make this like an actual thing? And so I went to go make a club and just like everything was kind of like that. And so just, I love how, like, like I said, like there's so many different places you can go. And so for me, that was, it was hard. My challenge is saying no, because I love to do everything. But, <laughs> It's, a, it's really great when you get involved in campus, um, yeah. Awesome. So, um, we're, as before we wrap up, um, mm -hmm. and I know every campus is different, so the process here at Ringling for involvement, like if you want to start a new club, is it mm -hmm. filling out a form, talking to someone in student life, like how do you start a new club? Do you have to survey people to see who's interested? How does it work? Or you just start? <laughs> Do you know? Uh, yeah, better I, than, I think you know what, better than I know. Well, you you've started the scholarship club. Yeah. And the KGO. Yeah. So <laughs> um, we just talked to Katie Cuff. Um, she's the what's her job title? Um. <laughs> so you talk to someone uh, higher uh, up, but, um, some important director person. Of student activities. Yeah. Student activities. She's okay. Director of yeah student activities. Maybe this <laughs> no, it's a uh, Katie Cuff. Okay. We're supposed to talk to her. Um, yeah. So Pretty she's the director this. of student activities. And we pretty much just say, hey, we're interested in starting a club. And then um, there's a mandatory meeting at the beginning of the year that we all go to. And um, in the meeting, we learn about um, the like different things that's required to start a club, as well as there's paperwork that we have to fill out. And she gives that all to us. And um, then we, we can start and we get like $100 um, to help fund the club. Oh, that's good. Which is nice. Oh, and that's 200 nice. for returning clubs. Oh, nice. Yeah. And that way you can print flyers, I guess, and kind of flyers maybe food yes. to kind yeah. of draw people in or yeah. whatever. Do you find that you get pretty great, good involvement when you kind of share about your clubs, what, what you're doing? Do students show up Yeah, for the most part? I would say so. It depends on what they're looking for. Like, okay. KGO is a great place if people are looking for friends or for just like a fun uh, activity and you're bored or um, as well as just exercise. Um, and then like if um, financially, like scholarship club, that's a phenomenal option for some students because it helps them. Yeah, you had a great turnout for your scholarship club. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, there's there's so many other clubs we're just talking about. And then focus too, that's really important. I think you really need to know your audience. Mm. Yeah. And you need to know like what they'd be interested in and what like things would draw them out. 
um, mm -hmm. because like for example we had an RA event and it didn't go as successful and one I think it was because of the activity that we were doing maybe it just what I don't think it was as interesting to people as it could have been mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that's important where you need to know the environment know your community and really like get a sense yeah. of and feel for the people there and what they're interested in good point and RA if, if your high school are listening RA is a resident advisor or resident, resident assist assistant, assistant. Yeah. can you just briefly share about RA what are some of your responsibilities why would a student want to be an RA and I know it's competitive it's not easy you know to become mm -hmm. an RA yeah. So uh, for the application process, it was like 150, not 150, 100 or 50 people um, that applied, and like mm -hmm. there was nine positions open. Oh wow! So it was very, <laughs> <laughs> very slim. But basically, a resident assistant is is there for the residents, for the students. So um, they do things like they go on rounds uh, every night. Uh, so they walk around campus and just kind of make sure that everything's like okay and the students are okay and then they're there for not only for the students um, academic support so if they are like stressed out about something like they can point them to oh hey there's the academic resource center over here or the library is over here you can get help with this like to help them kind of get to redirect know them. yeah redirect them to places and then also they're there for your emotional support as well like if you're having a really really bad day and you just need somebody to confide in then they're here to lend a hear it and just like really hear you out and so you feel like you've been listened to and so you have a voice that can be heard um, and then they're also there to like um, they do things called programs where mm -hmm. like every so often they'll have an event like watch a movie uh, with some snacks or water cereal. balloon dodgeball yeah or cereal yeah nice can I tell you let me tell you my college experience our RA was so mean she was not fun at all <laughs> so of course I graduated a long time ago but we had we had single sex dorms. We didn't have co ed dorms like you guys have now. And we had curfews. And she would enforce she was like the enforcer. So she would just knock, knock, knock on doors. And if, you know, a guy was in the room that wasn't supposed to be there, she would like literally throw them out. And yeah. she was just really scary. You know, I didn't break the rules, but she scared me. So I, I did not enjoy our RA. So at least a see smiling faces is a good thing. <laughs> Do you guys have any rules you have to enforce? Like no toaster ovens or <laughs> yeah. Um, no pets or anything like that. that the, the pet rule is like you have to have paperwork for it, so ESA, emotional support animal. Okay. Um, if they have paperwork, then it's then it's fine. Otherwise, we have to say you can't have the. <laughs> yeah, the, I'm sorry. Buddy <laughs> Poofoo's got to go. Um, <laughs> but we also like there's um, like they can't have drugs on campus. Okay. So like like that's an obvious, but like then there can't be so many no, people in a room or alcohol. So things like that we would call public safety. Or be like okay, okay there's this resident we have here they have something they shouldn't have and that's when public safety would come in and be like okay yeah. they told you but like I'm gonna really tell you yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you've got the support yeah mm -hmm. that's great that's great so as we wrap up do you guys have any tips um, for high schoolers who are you know thinking about going to college preparing to go to college um, just any overall tips or involvement tips, and maybe those who are even younger than high school seniors, maybe they're freshmen, sophomore, juniors. What I love about what each of you shared, a couple of you shared, and that you weren't super involved in high school is that it's it's never too late. Like you can yeah. you can get involved in college. You may not have done anything in high school, but it's never too late. So if you have any final tips to share, and we'll start with Ariana and go around. <laughs> um, oh, I had one and I forgot it. Um, I would say just um, be active and be um, just work in the community or find ways to volunteer. It's such a great uh, thing that to put on your resume to say that hey, I've done this, this, and this, and it makes you stand out from other people. So just being active in the community and having fun doing that, it's very important. Great. And you connect with your friends, like you find friends through doing that. Great. I'm gonna switch it up, Jacob. Oh my. <laughs> um. So you thought I was going to call Tamara next. So. I know. I, really, yeah, I had something to say. Um, gosh. Think back to your younger self, your high school self. What, what would your high school self wish? What would you tell your high school self about college life and getting involved? And um, I would say to just try everything you can. And um, if one thing in particular sticks out to you that you might like, it just keep going with it who knows where it'll take you yeah. great yeah. idea great advice and Tamara I would say you can do more than you give yourself 
hard work more than you think you can do. Because like coming from high school, I was super introverted, and so it's like I'm just gonna stay in my room until I graduate. <laughs> <laughs> that was my plan. Um, and now look at you, <laughs> Miss RA. So much has happened, like, yeah. and and it's really good to find someone who will, if you are introverted, drag you out of the room. Mm. Thank you, by the way. Drag you <laughs> out of the room because if it weren't for um, the opportunities that I took risks for, like, mm. I, like I was super terrified. I don't like taking risks. Super terrified, super introverted. If I hadn't gone out to these things, if I hadn't taken risks, we wouldn't have had the opportunities that we would have now, like yeah. going to Kenya right. because of the scholarship or like being a president of a club and student ambassador and all right and all these things like wouldn't have happened if you don't take a risk which is super intimidating and you feel like you can't do it but that's okay <laughs> just do it go for it you can you'll surprise yourself yeah. great yeah. well thank you all thank you all so much any final thoughts anything else you want to share thank you're good thank you so much for having us oh thank, yeah, you. thank you thank you for sharing mm -hmm. all right bye bye, bye.